Have you ever wanted to add hand-drawn animations to your videos, to your social media posts, a little bit like this one here? We're going to show you exactly how you can do that inside of Adobe Express. Let's dive in and take a look. You can do this with your phone if you want to, but I'm going to be using the iPad. So let's dive into the iPad here. I've just opened up a simple Instagram post on here, and we're going to come over to the Elements tab. And then in the Elements tab, we can see here we've got this Draw Shape option. Now, before we do this Draw Shape option, what we're going to want to do is change our background to be black. OK, and then we're going to come to Draw Shape and we're going to change the color of the pencil that we're going to be drawing with to white. And then you can see on here what calls these border styles, but they're actually like pen types. Okay, you can click on view all. We've got the asphalt, bubble, floral, neon, newsprint, inker. We've got some dots, a triple line, some dashes, dots and things like that. Now, the one I like is either asphalt or newsprint. So the newsprint inker, let's take a look at that one. You can see that's got a really nice kind of like script to it. We've got that one. And then we've also got the asphalt one which for me is a little bit more like a chalkboard type effect. You can then come back to those and you can choose the border thickness on those. So even after you've done your squiggle, you can change the thickness of this. But what we want to do is actually swipe down from the right and we want to be able to record our screen. Okay, the reason we're going to be recording our screen is we're going to then take this recording into Adobe Express. So we're just going to click backwards on this one. And let's say we want to draw an arrow. Okay, so we've got an arrow there that we can draw. And what we're going to be able to do is crop this in afterwards. So now let's say we want to draw something. So we're going to type welcome. And we might want to put a little scribble underneath that. We might want to write something different. Let's say we want to type my name. So these are all being recorded into one file. OK, and if you wanted to, you could stop the recording. OK, that's going to add that to your photos. The next thing we want to do is we want to actually upload that into Adobe Express. Now, before I do that, I do want to say also whilst I've shown you how to do this inside of Adobe Express. You could also screen record yourself using something like Procreate or Adobe Fresco, anything that's got a different brushes or anything else like that, that you can screen record using your iPad and maybe a, a pencil or an Apple pencil or something like that. Anything like that, you could even use your finger on your phone if you wanted to. So it depends on the kind of result that you want to go with. However, we're going to now import that screen recording into Adobe Express. And I'm going to show you how to add it to a design, remove the background and also then be able to change the colors of the actual pencil drawing. So let's dive into Adobe Express and show you those. So now here we are, we're inside Adobe Express and I've just got a an Instagram image. And in on this, we've got our drawing or screen recording that we did I can just make this a little bit bigger okay but you think to yourself well that doesn't work so what we're going to do is we're going to come over to the crop tool here and then bring that in to be just the black square where we did the recordings now we've added our screen recording onto our image here and we've cropped into that next what we want to do is actually crop in a little bit further or find the animation that we want from our screen recording. So you're going to come and just drag at the side. You can see at the start here, this is where we've got the start of the animation. And as you then drag this, you can then see that we've got the arrow. Now let's say we just want that arrow. Okay. So we're going to start, it starts just around about there. Okay. And then we're going to then click on our cursor here. And we're going to drag that to where it actually ends. And now that animation that we've got on the screen here is just that arrow. Now we can see we've got this little dot here, but we can crop that out. That's not going to be a problem. Now you think to yourself, hang on a minute, Darren, that's still got a black background. How do you actually get rid of the background? Now you might be thinking to yourself, remove background. What we want to do is click on the opacity button and then we're going to come to screen blend. And there we go. We can see that what it's actually done is it's removed the black from that image. OK, so now if we press play on this. You can see that that actually hand draws that for you. Now, 
If what you've drawn, you want to speed that up, you can speed that up to 200%. And it's a really cool way to kind of like add animations into your designs. Now these are in white, but you can change them using another little trick that I figured out in Adobe Express. What you're going to want to do is click and highlight the element that you want to change. And we're going to come over to effects and we're going to use the duotone effect to change the color of this. So if I just click on one of those, you can see the background goes pink, but the text is white. So once we've got that on there, we can then click custom. And what you want to do is make sure that the shadows are kept as black. And then you can change the highlights to anything that you want. Oops, shadows will be black. Click on highlights and you can then change this to any of your brand colors. Okay, so you can click on any of the brand colors that you want, selecting those from your color palette inside of your brand kit. And now, once you've got those on there, you can then see that the animation actually plays out in your brand kit colors. Now, if this isn't worthy of a like at least and a subscribe, I don't know what is, but I've got lots of other tips and tricks coming for you from within Adobe Express. And until next time, thank you very much and bye for now.